Hi everybody, Sean Holsinger here from HolsingersFlyShop.com. Uh, today I'm going to tie a wet fly for you. Uh, it's a traditional old wet fly, the Quill Gordon. Um, lately I've been on a little wet fly fishing kick, and uh, so I thought I'd share it in my tying. First thing we're going to start out with is a Daiichi 1560 um, wet nymph hook size 14 we're going to use black thread as you see me wrapping it on there um, the next thing we're going to put on is the tail I'm going to use a medium done um, just a hen off a hen cape here for my tailing fibers we're just going to pull off I don't know about 15 of them keep them all nice and straight And uh, we're just going to set it on top of the hook. Get it to the right length we want. The length we want is about the width of the hook gap. Which that's about right there. And then we're going to wrap it back to the bend of the eye. Or the bend of the hook, I mean. And then we're going to cover this up. We're going to use this those fibers just to build up a little bit of body on this fly. Um, you don't want a thick body, but it's really, really thin when you use my next material here. It makes it really thin, so I'm just going to add a little bit of body to this with, with my thread. Okay, the next thing I'm going to use is a piece of peacock curl. And this is where you're going to get the quill from, in the quill gordon. You're going to take your piece of peacock curl, and you're going to take it in your fingers, and use your fingernails, and we're just going to grip those shiny fibers off of it and it helps a little bit if you wet wet your fingers while you're stripping it it pulls them off a little bit better um, hopefully I won't break this while I'm stripping it sometimes though if you get a weaker one it will break on you so just be careful we're just gonna keep stripping stripping it until we get all those flashy colored fibers off it doesn't take long, it's pretty simple to do. Okay. Now that we have all that off, we're just going to tie this down on top. And we're going to wrap it back to the bend. Back to where we started our tail there, ended our wraps on our tail. And wrap it back forward. Now you see here, I got just a little bit of body, but not much. I still want a thin body on it, okay? The biggest mistake a fly tire, or especially a beginning fly tire, will make is wrapping their bodies too thick, and we don't want that. So we're going to keep it thin, and we're just going to take this piece of strip tarot, and we're going to wrap it forward. Now, when we're wrapping this, we want to be careful to make sure we don't twist our harrow, because as you see... As this wraps forward, it's going to make a real nice segmented body. Segmented looking body. Um, there's like a, a dark side and a light side to this quill. And it'll lay down in strips. But if you twist that, you're going to, you're going to lose that. So you want to make sure as you're wrapping not to let your hurl twist. And we're just going to twist it up here to our thread and we're going to tie this off wrap some of that down and just pop it off there okay now for the throat on this or the collar I'm just going to pull off some more fibers off of my medium done. About the same amount I used on my tail. I'm going to clump them together. Get all the fibers together there. And we're going to hold this underneath. And what we're going to do is we're just going to hold it right underneath the eye there. We're going to loose loop it down. And then make a couple nice tight wraps. Okay, and you see there how that gives you your nice little collar. Then we'll trim our tag ends off.
Okay. We've got our collar, our tail, and our quill gordon. I mean, and our quill on there. The last thing we want to do is we want to put the wing on it. For the wing, we're going to use a lemon wood duck flank feather. Okay. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the center out of this to make my wing with it. And I'm going to take a clump about that big. I'm just going to cut that out. Okay, now I'm going to pinch this together a little bit and lay it down on top. And I want it to extend just slightly past the body, just out over the tail. A little far. I'm going to pull that in just a hair. Okay, I like that there. Okay, and then keeping it on top, making sure I keep it on top there, I'm going to wrap it down tight, trim off my tag ends. Alright, now the last thing we need to do is tidy this up, tidy the head and whip finish it off. That is a very 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 simple very effective wet fly to fish on the swing. Um, like I said I just recently got back into the wet fly fishing. Um, picked up a bamboo rod for the first time here and started swinging a wet fly on it the way I was taught to fish almost 20 years ago. And uh, had a lot of fun with it and kind of got me Kind of got my interest stirred back into wet fly fishing and wet fly tying, back into traditional wets. It's a very, very simple, very effective wet fly pattern. I hope you enjoyed it, and as always, please subscribe to my YouTube channel to keep getting updated on our new videos when we have them. And uh, like us on Facebook. And anything you see that we use to tie these flies, you can find at our website, wholesingersflyshop.com. Thanks again for watching.